Hey guys, Luke here. I'm in my Ina Garden era, the shirt, big like smock kind of like Moo Moo shirt. Uncle Nate's behind the camera. If you want to see us both in front of the camera, you know where to check. Just use the link in the bio, but the podcast is live. So. Nate asked me to say something about the YouTube. Go on YouTube, there's a link in the bio, dude. Just go through the page. You guys all follow the page or you're looking at the page. The link tree's there, use it. I paid 10 bucks a month for it. I'd really like it if you used it, so I felt like I was getting something out of it. Also, we're talking about hobbies. I don't know if we talked about this. I don't think we have. Men shouldn't have hobbies. I'll get into that, I'll elaborate, but grown ass man with a hobby, doesn't sit right with me. Let's get into the clothes. We got vintage bunny boots. They're like cold weather boots. Raph ripped them off or redid them. Everyone loves them. They're mad cheap because they're vintage. They keep your feet warm. Vetmon shirt, button up. Got like quirked up art teacher written all over it. Maybe like quirked up math teacher. You think a math teacher for the uh, math teacher salary? I don't know. A math teacher who's like a bit inappropriate with you. He's a little too chummy, you know? Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> anyway, we got. Uh... <laughs> I pulled this out. It's cause for celebration. Because it's like a cause Dior thing. I fucking know what it is. Oh, buzz off. <laughs> Suck it, Nate. We got Martine Rose. It's like a double layered thing. It's actually two different pieces. You can wear them both. Mastermind jorts. These are kind of cool. For all my Chinese exchange students who hang out at La Dive, these shits got you written all over them. Parth McLaren out front. Let's get to it, baby. Louis Vuitton pants. The Louis Vuitton Rockstar skinnies. Uh, we got Bistroy, the cutoff joint. Shout out Brick, shout out Dew. Shout out those guys, I love them. Speaking of cutoffs, we got Phoebe Celine. Oh, I got more Phoebe Celine, baby. Look at those fucking things on my feet. I ain't got these, baby. You know, it looks like some Hermes shit. It's a little tank top. For a little twink or like shorty with no balcony. No balcony. That's what they call them in Britain. Like just have a rack, they call it a balcony. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. Another pair of Chrome Hearts ski goggles, the red ones. Y'all got a little dirt. And why the fuck are these down here? Whatever. Um, <laughs> Chanel, the Maltese. These are cute. Little Easter jumps. These are some young dro ass Chanel shoes. All right, so the other day I was riding uh, e bike through Central Park on Sunday morning. But these fucking dudes in like their like spandex with their like road bikes were like mad at me because I was just kind of cruising through Central Park. And I was like, started thinking, I was like, grown ass man doing like a hobby? That is so unmanly. Grown ass men should not have hobbies. There's only one hobby to have, and everything else is kind of like, it's, it's insidious. It just doesn't sit right with me. It's just the sign of a bad character. And there's only one hobby that's valid. And if you look at the most distilled essence of of man, if you had like unlimited money, you didn't really have to work. What do organized criminals do with their time? They sit around with each other, drink coffee, maybe smoke cigarettes, maybe drink wine or liquor, maybe play cards, but sitting around with other men and hanging out and shooting the shit is the only acceptable hobby. Everything else is just like deeply uncouth, it's bizarre, and it just speaks to a lack of character. I think if you don't do that as a hobby, you spend your time alone, it shows that you don't have the social fortitude to make connections with other men, and being by yourself all the time is serial killer and cell behavior. You know, like, organized criminals hang out in front of gobble ghoul places or wherever the fuck the Sopranos hung out. I don't know, I didn't watch that shit. So like, what do I do in my free time? I go down to Colbo and I hang out with my friends and drink coffee and shoot the shit. Fishing, kind of the same thing. You go hang out with your homies, shoot the shit. Playing golf, you go drive around in golf carts and get hammered and shoot the shit. Hunting, you go out and shoot shit and kill things for sport, shoot the shit. If we took a time machine right now and went to ancient Babylonia, 6300 BC, and walked through the streets, picture it now. It's a bustling metropolis, very cosmopolitan, people from different ethnic groups, people from all around the Near East. What do you see? You see merchants, you see bakers, you see soldiers. But what do you see the most? You walk around and you see men hanging out, smoking, whatever the fuck. I don't think they had tobacco. They're probably smoking like straw and shit. But like, you see men hanging out, drinking beer, drinking wine, drinking tea, and shooting the shit. It's, it's, it's a hobby as old as time. So where does a hobby end and let's say something like maintenance begins? Yeah, because we talked about maintenance. Yeah, so sorry. like working out is maintenance. But when you're in the Equinox by yourself with the book and you're spending like three hours a day there, that becomes a hobby and it's fucking weird. You got all these fucking strength and all these muscles, but you don't got no motion and no friends. Like, what's up with you? Sure. These are hobbies that are acceptable. Going out to nice dinners, buying things that are flexes. Cars, watches, art, jewelry, maybe clothes, shopping. What about video games? Where does that fall on the list? I play video games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be upfront with you guys and honest with you guys about this. It's deeply insidious. It's, it is a plague on society. What about like going to the movies? Waste of time. Really? Yeah. 
Watch it on a plane. Um, uh, I think going on dates with your girl or your significant other or your spouse is acceptable because that's that's relationship maintenance, so a movie could fit into that. But like going to the movies, like, you know, three, like using like your movie pass to the point where it pays for itself is crazy. Go, why don't you fucking go sign a deal in LA and hit that six hour flight and watch a couple movies on the way? What if you're old and like you're retired and shit? What do you do? If you don't Drop have... dead. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, go to the Elks Lodge, bro. <laughs> what about reading books? Where does that fall on the category? For me personally, very far down. But would you consider that like a mental maintenance? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think that's fine. I'm not saying you can't do shit that you enjoy. I just think spending too much time alone is crazy. And like, I think, you know, shooting the shit with, with your peers is such an important part of, you know, the human experience. And we're, we're, we're fucking pack animals, you know? Like before humans had society, we were running around, you know, like hanging out, eating berries and hunting, like hunting shit, you know, like just like a pack of wolves. What are the things that you like? You see people do, and you look down on these people. Like the dudes riding the bikes with the spandex on. That wouldn't be like a maintenance thing. Going to ride up for a bike ride is one thing, but hanging out with like five other dudes and like giving shit to someone who's just trying to ride an e-bike through Central Park is <laughs> is bullshit. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Whatever you're thinking watching this video, of what I'm implying is insidious and bad. You're probably right. Because there's one hobby that's valid, and we just talked about it. Hanging out with your bros. I think you're missing a third one, which is hanging out with a lady also. Is yeah, good. yeah, but that's not like a hobby. That's like, a, I mean, for, for a guy like you, for Dr. Bitches, that's a hobby. But for, <laughs> for, <laughs> but for <laughs> someone like me, you know, it's just like relationship maintenance. Do you know what my hobby is? Making sure you guys have the best shit on earth. I'm talking drip. Podcast out. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. YouTube. Instagram, Reels, TikTok, follow us at LukesNYC, at Tokyo Drift 420, at Nasty Word Podcast, at OG Luke Mook. Bye bye.